So coming off a season where we had incredible leadership from Jen, uh, it left us with a huge void and we really challenge our fourth year setter and co-captain of last year um, in Kirsten to really step up and lead the team and lead the girls. Uh, she's done a phenomenal job this uh, off season with downstairs working with Adam and encouraging our girls to work in the off season. Coming back we saw a totally different player, a totally different leader and she really took that upon herself to, to be that great leader that, that our program desperately needs. Uh, stepping in behind her is a really strong leader uh, in Mimi Demski, our, our second center. And so now with Mimi, who's extremely uh, strong academically, supporting the Pauls program and really our rookies, who, where we have a, a large number of rookies, we have seven coming in, has really helped uh, brought, bring the team together and fill that void that, that was missing with the departure of with Jen and Michelle and Brittany. We don't have the flashy one or two players that we traditionally have had over the last four or five years. We don't have the Michelle Pierce or the Brittany or the now Jimena Perez or, or the uh, even Brandy Wilkerson. Uh, what we do have this year is an extremely deep bench of maybe 12 players that can step on the court at any time. And our strength really lies within how we play the game. We play and we, we attack by committee, we defend by committee, we win by committee. So that's going to be, going into the season, will be our strongest point. We're going to be uh, tighter than any team out there. And I believe that we're going to outwork every single team that, that's out there. And as long as we can continue the play, we're going to out outlast every single team and every single rally. We have, when you talk about veterans, people think about fourth and fifth years being your veterans. We have one fourth year, or two fourth year, that's really going to look at starting for us with our setter and maybe our libero. The rest are either first or second year. Um, our one or two veterans, are going to have to play and act and lead by, as veterans. Um, we have no other veterans to rely on if they don't fill that void. So the Kirsten and the Carly and even Melissa at practice and when she gets inserted into games, got to play with the confidence of veterans, got to lead and got to got to uh, demonstrate their leadership on the court and not just by talk. They're going to have to lead by example and really bring the expectations of all the rookies, as well as our second year, returning to the second year, bring the expectation of the team uh, and raise that, that expectation. Well, we brought in seven players this year. Six we brought in through recruiting and one was a walk-on. Of the six recruits coming in that we brought in, I can say that those six are our core for the next five years of which this program is going to go around. We have brought in a 6-6-1 six, six, setter. We have brought in a right side that's a lefty that has put humongous potential. We brought in two extremely exciting middles in Kiva and in Cali. And if you, if you could even imagine what Brittany and Michelle might look like in their first year, I think they would be almost like identical to the two recruits that we brought in. We brought in a, uh, a left side in Sarah, in Sarah uh, Williams, who is probably the most well-rounded, one of the most. I, I put her very close to what Mel gave the program in terms of the all-around type of player. Uh, very level-headed, very smart, very tactical, um, and extremely strong leadership uh, skills. And uh, leads really by her sheer hard work, desire to play every single ball. So she's going to be a really exciting player for us to follow in the, the years to come. But in terms of one or two key players that we brought in, I feel that the six of them really are going to be the makeup of the New York women's volleyball uh, faces around campus. Coming off last year, and our specific goal this year in recruiting was to really go out and get top level athletes 
but at the same time, just don't settle for just top athletes. We wanted players that have been dying and dreaming to play for York and to represent York and to bring that pride into our, or into our school and into our program. And we believe we brought that in in the six of them that came in. So come in with that love and that pride or their, their passion for the game, their desire and commitment to work as hard as they can and expect nothing less from each other or themselves other than to pour everything that they have for the program. Live, sleep, breathe, eat York Lions and York Lions Women's Volleyball. So what do they bring to our program? I think one of the strongest thing that they brought to the program is a strong character or identity that our program wants to surround ourselves with, which is a, a strong Lions prow, a pride that is determined to settle for, for nothing uh, but the top out of everybody and out of the program. Uh, that's a tough question because we obviously go into every season expecting to be the top. Um, with losing three of our uh, rookie, all rookie team uh, from from previous years, as well as three of our vets, you, we, we knew that we had to reload and reload in a big way this year. Uh, we believe that we reload with players that can get us up to the level that we need to be and be competitive right away. Compound with the fact that U of T is also reloading, Ottawa is reloading, Queens, they're they're reloading a little bit and really leaving Rice and really the only one that has a lot of players coming back. We feel very uh, confident in our positioning and we feel that with the few ex exhibition training sessions that we've had with, um, with other teams, uh, we look great and we believe that we have a team that will surprise a lot of teams out there in the OUA. And at the end, in February, we are confident that we're going to make playoffs and we are confident that we will make a solid run to win, um, to win the title. So, it's, people don't really truly believe when a team that has seven rookies coming in with seven vets or seven returning players being in a position that can do that. But as I said, the, the things that our new rookies have brought to the program has transformed this program in believing itself and, in, and when they show up on the court and they play every point that they play you can see that that belief is growing and growing with every point so I think that through the season you'll see us getting stronger and stronger and stronger and as our setters and our players are beginning to figure each, each, other's, uh, each other out uh, come towards the end of the season, I think we're going to be a really, really impressive team and a really fun team to watch.